Hi, my name is Neil and welcome to another Spotfire Quick Tip. Today we're going to be talking about Google Sheets. Google Sheets is a great way to collaborate across your organization. If you have a columnar data set, spreadsheet data, and you have multiple people contributing to it or you want to do live updates from Google Sheets, it's a great way to bring your data together and it's even better when you can use that with Spotfire. Now Google Sheets has been a connector request on the Ideas Portal. It's a top rated request. So we thought we'd do a Quick Tip video today to show you the custom extension where you can use Google Sheets. Now the first thing to know about Google Sheets is it's not a native connector, it's a custom extension. So to find this custom extension you need to go to the TIPCO community and you need to go to the exchange. And in the exchange you'll find a uh, search bar where you can just type in Google Sheets and you can hit search. Here you'll see the custom connector for TIPCO Spotify to read data from Google Sheets. So you simply click this and it'll take you to the extension where you can download this. Now this is for your administrators of your Spotfire environment. They need to install this custom extension and then you'll have access to it. So here you'll see these compatible versions and you can download by clicking the downloads. Make sure you're logged in to get these downloads uh, and then you can download the Google Sheets to your local drive. Once you've downloaded the zip file and you've unzipped it, you'll see this, these uh, folders in the directory. You want to go to For Spotfire Server and you'll see these different extensions. Now these are different extensions depending on what version of Spotfire you're running. The earliest version that this connector will work with is Spotfire 10.3. If you're between 10.3 and 11.4, uh, you know, up to 11.4, you want to use the 10.3 connector. If you're from 11.5 until 12.0, uh, up until 12.0, then you want to use the 11.5 connector. And then if you're on 12.0 or past that, you want to use the 12.0 connector. So this connector, you simply install this, and this is how you install all extensions with Spotfire, these SDN files. You can go into deployments and packages in the Spotfire administration panel. And uh, here you go to the deployment areas, you go to add package, you navigate to that Google Sheets, and you'll go to uh, the Spotfire server here, and we're on 12.0 uh, here, so I'm gonna put this 12.0 and I'm gonna upload this. And then once you've added the package, you can go ahead and uh, save the area. I already had this package added, so I don't have a save area here, but you'll see something that says save area uh, that will then push the update out to all of the clients and the server. So inside Spotfire, I can go to my Connect2 panel, and I can go down to my Google Sheets custom connector, uh, right here and I'm going to set up a new connection and this is going to ask me to sign in with Google so I just hit this and it's going to open up the Google authentication I'm going to sign in with my TIPCO account here and I'm going to say allow now this is going to give this is going to give Spotfire access to all of the Google Sheets that I have available so when I go back to Spotfire and I search let's say Boston Airbnb data and I hit search you can see that this file has come up. So then I simply hit next and I can choose which sheets that I want to import. So I have the reviews sheet and I have the listing sheet. I wanted to ignore empty rows and then I want what I want to do, you'll see that uh, in these preview, this is column one, column two, column three, column four, I need to designate the name row. I may have some empty rows, uh, so I can actually go here and say ignore the empty rows. Um, this is a name row because this is going to be the name of each column. So I'm going to indicate that as a named row. And it's a good idea to go through and check your data types. Uh, sometimes blank data types can come out as a date time and that can be a little bit of a, nu a nuisance to change in Spotfire. So you want to go ahead and check your data types here. Um, check all of the data that's kind of coming through here. Uh, I'm going to bring in the name row of this listings and then I'm going to also go into reviews. I'm going to make this a name row as well. And then I'm just going to hit finish. And this is going to add this just like a data connection. So I can choose to add the listings table. I can choose to add the reviews table. I'm going to hit OK. And now this is bringing in the data. So I can choose to join these as different as the same data table or add them as new data tables. I can choose to import them or keep them on demand. Uh, I, I like to import this data because I want there to always to be data in, in Spotfire, but if you have a lot of data in your Google Sheets, you may want to actually just keep it on demand. Uh, when I go to my data panel, you can see uh, this uh, in my data canvas, you can see 
the Google Sheets here. I like to keep this as new data when possible. That way if someone accesses my Spotify dashboard and they don't have access to this Google Sheet, they don't need to authenticate with Google. They can just use this, uh, the data that's embedded in there. And then when I go to this data, you can see that this data is imported and it's all working just fine. That's the reviews data. And this is the listings data. Uh, and I can bring this in, I can join this, I can build visualizations off this. Anything I wanna do uh, with the, my Spotfire dashboard, I can do uh, with uh, this, uh, uh, this, this Google Sheet data. So it works really well, works very seamlessly. Uh, I recommend checking it out on the Tipco community, downloading it, installing it to your Spotfire server, and then get going with some Google Sheets data in your Spotfire dashboards. It's, a, it's again, a great connector. So thanks for watching this quick tip video. Make sure to subscribe for more content, and uh, we'll catch you next time.